to remove the coil, you're going to obviously remove the wiring from the coil that would go here. Uh, then you're going to remove the two screws that hold the cover on. Take the cover off. After removing the cover, remove the standoffs, the threaded standoff nuts. Okay. Then the entire magnet assembly, which is based into two pieces, a lower and an upper, uh, and the coil assembly all can come out as one piece. Uh, if you're creative, you can actually get the upper section and the coil out without disturbing the lower piece. Uh, I'll take the whole unit out, just show you how it goes back in, which is quite simple. Uh, you just want to make sure you take care of the two flat washers that will be in here. Uh, they usually are a star or a split. Uh, just with a little bit of shaking and moving around, the thing usually comes pretty free. Sometimes, as so you see there, it's already almost up in a way. And as I said, take care of the washers. They're here. And then, like I said, you can actually get the upper and the coil out. But if you happen to do take out the lower half, um, to release it, you can actually push down on that armature, as uh, you were seeing in the other video. Um, and the cavity there, just have to align. A uh, quick little sneak trick is to place a screwdriver here. Insert the coil the armature there. Okay, then you take your replacement coil, which this is actually a good coil, but we'll pop that back in on an angle, slide this in with it, and lift up the bottom, and we're just dropping that in there and making sure it doesn't move around. Put that back on there. Make sure the threaded washers, threaded uh, shafts go that way with the split up. Okay. Replace the cover. You get another coil.